How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon and welcome back to another most basic top 10 video. Throughout history we have witnessed and experienced some pretty crazy disasters whether it's natural disasters or disasters created by man. We're talking about hurricanes to tsunamis to the 9-11 attacks and even the Boston bombing. We have had some amazing stories about people surviving these disasters. So let's take a look at the top 10 people who have survived a disaster. It's a triple threat and at number 10 we have Mason Wells who has survived three different terrorist attacks. Let me explain. Mason Wells has become one of the unluckiest and luckiest people ever. He was present at the time of the Boston bombing back in 2013, the Paris attack in 2015, and last year's 2016 Brussels bombing attack. Mason Wells is only 19 years old, and he's seen way more than most people in their lifetimes. Although Mason Wells survived all of these attacks, he was still injured. He suffers a ruptured Achilles tendon, and he also has sharp no injuries as well as second and third degree burns on his face and hands after these bombings took place. He is very lucky to be alive and it just seems like the odds are likely that, you know what, he might be in another terrorist attack very soon. If I was Mason Wells, I would just stop traveling for a little bit. I don't know, this world is just becoming more scarier and scarier. We now have a 9-11 attack survivor who was also present at the time of the Paris attack and we're talking at number 9. This right here is 36 year old Matthews who's an American survivor who was shot during the Paris attack back in 2015. The attack is now being called the Bataclan Massacre. The attacks killed 89 people. Matthew was shot right in the calf right on Friday the 13th just to make matters worse. It just wasn't his day at all. Matthew also works at the World Trade Center and he was there. He was present during the 9-11 attacks that happened back in 2001. The perpetrator was Al-Qaeda and those events changed the world forever. Matthew was able to escape the building and run for his life before the building fell on top of him. It's so crazy to go through such a traumatic event like the 9-11 event and then years later getting shot by a crazy terrorist. His life just keeps flashing before him. It's time to get out your life jackets because there's a woman overboard in at number 8. This right here is an Irish nurse Violet Jessup who became a celebrity in the 1920s after she survived three different shipwrecks in a span of 5 years. The first shipwreck was in 1911 when she was a stewardess on the RMS Olympic when it collided with the cruiser HMS Hawk. The boat looks very similar to the Titanic. The second shipwreck Violet was on, well, it was the Titanic. She survived that. She was working on the Titanic when it hit an iceberg and sank, and we all know the story because of the famous movie that was inspired by true events. Violet was able to save a baby that was on board. Well, the baby on board, we're actually going to get to on this list very soon. So the third shipwreck was in 1916 when she was a nurse on the hospital ship Britannic. A lot of people lost their lives that day, but Violet, she was able to survive. I'm not sure what she's doing and how she's surviving all these shipwrecks, but she's got instincts. It's an iceberg ahead at number 7. We're talking about another Titanic survivor and perhaps that baby who was carried off by Violet Jessup in at number 8. Well, the baby was identified as Melvina Dean, who was just 2 months old at the time, you know, the Titanic went down. She was the youngest passenger on board. Meldiva was the last remaining survivor from the shipwreck, but unfortunately she passed away back in 2009 at the age of 90 seven years old. But you know what? She lived a full life. She could have died at the age of two months old, but that nurse saved her. Blasting out into number six, we have Tatumi Yamagachi, who was a survivor of the Hiroshima attack, and then Nagasaki. And those were atomic bombs during World War II. The United States dropped these nuclear weapons on these two Japanese cities. The Hiroshima blast killed around 126,000 people, and the blast in Nagasaki killed about 80,000 people. This was a huge day in history. Around a quarter of a million people died from these two bombings, but Tatumi, this guy, was someone who survived both blasts. It is known that there is just 69 people to survive both of these blasts. Tatumi was able to live out a long life until he died of a stomach cancer. I mean, go figure. It was in 2010 and he died at the age of 93 years old. At number 5, it's unprecedented, but we have one former president of the United States of America who survived not just one, but two assassination attempts. We're talking about President Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford was a 38th president of the United States and the 40th Vice President of the United States. In 1975, someone tried to take his life using a Colt 45 caliper handgun. The shooter was identified
identified as a female, but a Secret Service agent, Larry Berndar, was able to grab the gun before she was able to pull the trigger. The woman was convicted of attempted assassination of the president, and she was sentenced to life in prison. But she was actually paroled in 2009 after serving around 34 years in prison. The second attack was about 17 days after the first one. It was another female trying to take down the president. It was a 35 caliber that was used, a revolver. I mean, these women be crazy. What is going on? Luckily, she missed the president. She actually got the shot off. She was also caught, and she served 32 years behind bars. Things are about to get really steamy and hot at number four, and it's not what you guys think. We're talking about Michael Benson, who survived a helicopter crash. Michael Benson was shooting aerial footage of Hawaii for a movie when their helicopter crashed over the world's most active volcano, hence the hot and steamy. Michael had to live inside of a volcano crater for a couple of days. He narrowly missed crashing into the boiling pool of lava. Well, after a few days of living in such extreme conditions, he was rescued. This has to be one of the craziest experiences ever. And he survived to live to tell the day. I really hope you guys aren't squeamish, but this next one at number three, we have this 38 year old man, Truman Duncan, who was cut just right in half when a train ran over him. Let me tell you guys what happened. Truman back in 2006 was working at his job in the rail yards in Texas when he slipped and fell onto the track. He was pulled under the train and his lower body, not to get too graphic for you guys, but it, it just got mangled up. So he had to been like fully cut like in half for him to survive. His legs it didn't survive, but his leg was actually attached by a single muscle. This is a traumatic shock to the body and a lot to endure. Any other person in that situation would have died, but miraculously enough, Truman did not. His body was dragged for 75 feet. Truman had the incredible power and the will to live to tell his story. He said that day was a miracle. Moving into number two, I know most of you guys know this story because this horrible situation was turned into a movie. Well, I'm talking about Aaron Walston. For you guys who don't know who that is, well, he's the guy behind the movie 127 Hours. James Franco played the character Aaron Walston, who was the real man behind the movie. This was a true story. Aaron fell in Blue John Canyon and on the way down, he got his right forearm stuck into the boulder. Aaron was left to fight for his life for 127 hours, which is five days and seven hours. He was finally able to get free after he amputated his own arm with a dull pocket knife. It's such a remarkable story, and it's amazing that Aaron is still alive today. Finally, at number one spot, we have another remarkable story that I don't really believe, but let me tell you guys, and you guys tell me if this is real, but apparently it is. This right here is Frank Select, who is the world's unlucky luckiest lucky man. He is a music teacher who has come close to death many times. Let me take you guys back to 1962 when it all started. He was riding on a train on a cold rainy day when the train crashed and flipped off the track. The train fell into a river. Someone was able to pull this guy out of the train wreck alive. Many people lost their lives that day and he just suffered from a broken arm and hypothermia. The next year during his first and only plane ride he was blown out of a malfunctioning plane door and he landed on a haystack just moments before the plane crashed, killing everyone else inside. Three years later, he was on a bus when the bus skidded off the road, and yet again, it went into a river where he survived. In 1970, he was in a car crash. The car caught on fire. It blew up. He escaped. I mean, oh my goodness. This guy, how is this even possible? This is like Final Destination. You know the movie where, like, just, I don't know what, the, a, a super being is trying to kill someone, but they just won't die. But I think at the end of the movie, everyone ended up dying. Well, he cheated death so many times. In 2003, Two days after his 73rd birthday, he actually won the lottery. He bought two houses and a boat, and then he gave his remaining money away to relatives and friends. What an incredible story. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys soon in a new one.